they have first rank. Clacking of dice might remind you of childhood board games like Risk or Monopoly. But make no mistake, these are not your father's board games. Despite the rise of digital entertainment, physical tabletop games like Warhammer are back with a vengeance. And while an increased emphasis on strategy helps, players like George Kilgore think there are more important reasons for the genre's resurgence. It's more than just playing games and rolling dice. You get to build your stuff, you get to paint. It's, uh, there's a lot of good things to the hobby. And uh, some of my best friends I, I met through the game. Kilgore isn't alone. Many of the players here at Ready to Play and Casey appreciate tabletop games as an opportunity to hang out with others and enjoy some laughs. <laughs> this social appeal may help to explain why donations to tabletop games now dwarf the donation sums to projects like video games on the crowdfunding site Kickstarter. Ready to Play's owner and manager, Lon Starkey, wants his store to achieve something greater than just high retail sales. My favorite part about managing Ready to Play is building communities. Um, I like building a place where I would want to hang out if I wasn't running the place. The tabletop industry's popularity spike may also entail some surprising health benefits. Whether you choose to craft and paint your own Warhammer figures, or if you would rather try your hand at card games like Magic the Gathering, several studies have found that tabletop gaming helps to fight off dementia while boosting learning and memory. But the rise of these games complicates things for small business owners like Starkey. Stores like ours are, you know, in jeopardy. Uh, we cannot compete with Amazon. How does Starkey plan to battle retail giants like Amazon? By leveraging the social appeal of tabletop games. We're building relationships, we're building communities, we're building friendships. Um, and, it's, and it really is less about the retail outlook and more about let's play. For Carolina Insider, I'm Mike Rogers.